Mmm, ominous. Generic greetings and welcome to Mars Power Industries Deluxe. This is a resource management puzzle game that I've played for around about 45 minutes now, so I thought I would do a quick preview and show you what the game is like. By the way, today's beverage is a nice cup of lemon tea. So I believe this was originally a mobile game that has come to Steam as a deluxe version. It costs about a couple of generic units of currency, is billed as having just under 100 levels and will take you approximately 3 to 5 hours to complete. However, in my estimation, with my puzzle skills, it will probably take around about 2.5 to 3 centuries. So either way, I'll show you a little bit of the game and you can decide whether it's going to be for yourself or not. I have completed up to level 24, but none of the optional objectives. You can see it goes all the way up to 78 and there are some other ones that you need to Unlock. And spoiler alert, I will be showing you some potential solutions to these puzzles, but I do say potential because there are many ways of doing them, or several ways I would imagine because I haven't got any of these optional ones. So there you go. So a quick rundown of the UI, it won't take long. On the left hand side we have our resource conveyor and a button at the top for changing like sound and options and selecting your level and such. And then in the centre this is our main play field. So you can see we have currently two buildings that are not yet powered and we also have this thing saying go over here. Obviously this is the very first level. I'll show you about the first 30 to your saw level so we'll see how we get on and we click and drag that and you can see where we can place it and it gives us an arrow where we can so we'll place it there because that's the only option that then emanates energy to the left and right the lights go on people smile and then we go on to the next level and ominous year too and it's going to be the same sort of thing again so if we go there we can then power that up and then we can place that one there and oh we have now failed. Well, you don't have to restart the level, you literally click back and then back and it puts them back into the conveyor. So it is quite uh, forgiving in that regard, which is something I do appreciate. It means you can um, sort of place them, get it wrong, redo it, and it is about the order of placement and it's going to demonstrate that here. So this building requires two energy and we have one energy node to the left and one energy node to the right. We also have these rocks here by the way which you can't build on. Uh, not that you can build on these bits anyway but if we emanate energy to an adjacent tile we can see that we will then emanate it um, to the next one as well. So we're going to place that one there and you see that now uh, does that and then these drop down these spikes. What they do is alternate between um, every placement and the spikes allow uh, force you to um, try and place elsewhere because it doesn't allow you to place that there so we know that we're going to have to go back and then back because this st the spikes start up there so if we place one there the spikes will then go down we can then place that one there because you can see it has emanated the energy crystals to the left place that one there that one will get blocked up we can place one over to the left and then finally one over to the right so it is all about the placement um it does switch between the sort of ominous uh closing of the map and then year four and then ghost is a sort of very relaxing i think the i think the overused term is zen like music but anyway so we have these in here what i'm going to do is knowing that we're probably going to have to emanate along to here and these spikes are up, we're going to place there first and that goes to here we then get another one which you can place to here and then you see these spikes are now alternating so i'm going to place them on these spikes when i can because otherwise we will uh, not run out of turns per se, but it'll be in the wrong sequence. And then there we are. Everybody smiles. Let's go on. Job done. Next one. And they can also make a brew if they need to. Oh, oh strawberry level. So. Year five. I'm going to stop doing that, by the way. Uh, so we've now got apparently strawberry level. Uh, and oh, this is a new uh, type of uh, device. And this emanates uh, not to the left and right, but to the sort of top left, top, and then top right. Doing that. Obviously, if I placed it there, it would emanate to here, and that wouldn't work out. Yeah, six. So, in this one, we have loads of spikes, and we have these here. So, we need to get um, all of these collected. So, I'm going to place one there first, because, well, we don't really have much of a choice. But, sadly, that then gets spiked, so we can't really place anything there. So, it's sort of pointless at this stage but is there anywhere else we can go let me go back over and no it is literally these two options so i'm going to place one in there it doesn't really matter because one has to go there then one has to go there i don't think there's any other solution unless we go around this way that might be a way of doing it but let's place that one there and that's uh those all connected and then we have the option for that one in ah what i'm going to uh, see what's going to happen now 
is I'll be able to place this one in here, but then this spike will go up, which means I can't place there, and that wouldn't work out anyway. So I'm trying to work out how we would get power to there, there, and there, but also get that strawberry. So I could place one there, perhaps, which will allow me to then go to here. Uh, I don't think you can place on these bits there, you cannot know, but I can go there, and we are still emanating, and ah, no, see, we're going to still be um, a bit surprised on this one, and... No, we're still going to have to just go there. I There will be a solution. I don't know what it is. As I said, I haven't uh, went around and done the extra ones. But we're not focusing on that in this video. We're like, so going through all of these are base solutions, not the extra ones. And we have, hmm, this weird um, like monolith type thing. And these will appear. Um, I think it sort of uh, retrofits them back in. Uh, and you have to go back and add them. So let's place that one there. And that requires... Ah, that's got to got power. That's, that's, that's got to got power. That's a sentence, just not... Uh, assemble correctly. Let's place that in there and we'll place one in there because I'm going to try and get that. Actually, is there a way to get that? Let's see if we can get that. So one there, one in there, which will light that up, and then one in there. And then we have to have two more, so I'm not going to get it. I can get the ones at the back, but not the other ones. So, yeah, not too sure what that solution is. But we'll place one there, and we don't have the ones from side to side. If we had the side to side ones, that would be uh, much better. So we'll place that one there, we'll place that one... Ah! Oh, hang on, wait, let's see if I can go back. Place one in there. One in there. One goes there. One goes there. And then one goes there. Once again, I haven't got this optional one, but I have got the rest of them. There we go. All happy for everybody. Alright, this one, double power. So we'll emanate to there. And then it's probably going to put in... Yeah, now it's... Now instead of going from the left to right ones and then the um, diagonal ones, it's now got both of them. So it's mixing and matching them and obviously introducing these new mechanics and new systems as we go. And we can see what's going to be added um, afterwards. So we know that this one's going to be the left and right, then it's going to be the diagonal ones. So we can place this one probably... Who? where's the best place for it? Probably... Um, there would be nice for this, but we can't. If I place that there, will that just spike up and then it's going to be completely useless? Mm, sort of, but not really. I'm going to place that one there, and then I'll place that one in there, which does that one, and then finally that one there. So yeah, quite simple that one. So that is the first ten levels. So not overly difficult, very quick to... Uh, oh, sorry, first nine levels. Uh, quick to smash through. Ah, we now have another uh, one here. This one, uh, you must, we've got like two side ones, so we can say, put that one there. And then put one, that one there. Well, actually, we can't power the, that one up because we've only got two of these uh, towers. Yeah. But we have something down the bottom. It doesn't tell us what it is, but if we then connect up some power, ah, you can see it emanates. It's like some sort of relic that emanates uh, power um, both up and down and left and right. Not diagonally, though. So, year 11, we now have more of these things. So, we can try and get... Uh, we can try and get some of these connected. So we'll go over to hmm, there. Uh, actually, we'll back up. We'll go over to there and over to there, which connects those up. I want to try and get. Is there a way for me to get that? Not that way, there isn't. And then I'd still have the left and right, so no. Okay, we will back up, start again. So that one has to go there. Could do that. Can't place that one there. Yeah, so it's all about the sequence. So let's just... Let's, I keep on saying I'm not going to go for these extra ones, and I, try, I see potential solutions and go, oh, we could do that. But uh, I'm going to try and not do that. Let me place that one in there. And you can see each one of these requires an extra energy, which we can put one there. That emanates energy to the top side and then uh, the top right, and then we connect that one up. Okay, so not too bad at all. So what I'm going to do, instead of showing you the next... I don't want to go through the rest of them. I think what we'll do instead... Now, we'll continue going through them because we're not doing too bad here. Uh, this one is a little bit different, so we don't really need to power that because eventually we'll get that one that'll emanate down. We could, however, get that one, which then allows us to place uh, that one in... Actually, no, 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 no. Undo that one. We'll place that one there. 
we'll place one of them in there, which will get that end one. We'll place one of them in there, and then hopefully we'll get a side one, yeah, which we do, and then that lights both of those up. So a combination of trial and error, making sure the placement order is correct and making sure that the draw order is correct as well will uh, get you to eventually the right solution. So we have all of the diagonal ones, so I'm going to place a, one of those in there and then we'll place a diagonal one in there and then we'll place, we need two more diagonals there so it'll be, oh where will it be? Um, we need more power to those others. Okay, so we'll redo the whole thing. Instead, this time we'll go there. We will go there. We'll go in there. And then finally, there. Yeah. As I said, only potential uh, solutions to these. There will obviously be multiple ways to do them, and certainly when you've got these monoliths on there, will be there ones there as well. So, side ones, well, I mean, we could light that up, but that seems to be, like, a bit of a strange one, because it's, like, saying why you're doing it that way. Um, it's connecting that, and that then connects that, but there's no way I'm going to get these two, unless we say there, um, there, and there, yeah. yeah, that's okay. Probably inefficient as hell, but there you go, it's in. <laughs> yeah, 15. But you can see the idea of what uh, you have to do here. Ah, so now what it's done is flung another resource type at us. Not, we don't just have energy, we have um, gas, liquid, liquid of some kind, um, purple stuff. So the purple stuff, we can do same sort of thing as we've done previously, where we can place the towers and it emanates everything around it. So we're just going to do that. The difference is that it will overfill it. So if I do that, for example, you can see it changes these tiles and then it emanates the, uh, the resource over there. So I'm going to back up actually and place that one there because I want that one to be that one, that one can go there and then this one will be a side one and then there you go. So once it's changed, it is, um, I believe, impossible to change it back to another thing. So uh, if it's got a, if, if it's, sorry, it can change back but only if it's not got any of the devices on it. So this is a prime example. I place that there, and you can see it's just going to emanate all of this stuff around. Um, so there's now no energy left on the map. There's no electricity. So we'll take that off. If, for example, we did that there, that's going to cancel these ones off. And that's okay, because we don't really care too much about that. Uh, the side one, we want to connect up to there. Actually, do you want to do that? Yes, that's fine. That one can go to there. And then we are, once again, struggling for this one down here, because, well, we've only got that, and those don't require the uh, the uh, liquid. So instead, what we'll do is probably fill that up with the... Get that... No. Get that get that one done so that is just we just don't have to deal with that anymore and the rest is all about electricity so it is we've got some side ones and we got a so we got a left and right one and a diagonal one so if we do this that will turn all them to the energy crystals but it's already uh, emanated out so that's fine we don't have to worry about that and then that joins those up and then that joins those up so once again haven't got the uh, the strobe but it is there and uh, it does do some weird um <laughs> Uh, it, does, it does have some weird glitches on it at times, um, and uh, yeah, it's there's something going on. I don't know what's going on, but there's something strange going on on this planet. Anyway, we now have another type of device, and this just emanates too forward, and obviously the arrows there denote that that is the case. So now we have three different types of these towers. Yeah, 18. So we have to use a combination of all three. So the first one is fairly obvious. We're going to place it, or is it fairly obvious? Well, I'm going to place that one there, and that will uh, both connect up that and that. We then have to connect up probably one to there, and then one to there, and then finally one to there. And oh, we have not successfully done it because this has not got power. So we need two of these uh, round around uh, round here. So it actually means that probably that one can go there first. Uh, we can place that one in there. We can place that one in there. And then that one in there. Ah, but we're still missing out. So I think 
We'll have to play. We'll always have to place one there, and we're going to ignore that. That actually doesn't have a porpoise, um, so we're not going to bother with it because we don't need to light that one up. That will be something to do with that strawberry, I'm guessing, because we can emanate across and go up and such. And there we go. Yeah, 19. So how is this one going to be? Ah, so we now have three towers. Diagonal, double forward, left and right. So, I mean, that's the obvious choice, which probably means it's wrong. Hmm. How would we get that? We can't place that one there, so I think that's just entirely wrong. No, it seems like that gives us the most options because it can it does all it does three of them. And there we are. Everyone's happy. So getting on to progressively more difficult ones. This is where we have it seems like a simple one. We have energy, liquid. And then we've got the emanator there. However, how are we going to do this? Well, we need to get... Mm, I think it's this. So we'll emanate the energy out. We'll go uh, diagonal for the... Ah, no, wrong. I'm going to say diagonal for the um, liquids all wrong. We'll back that up. We'll place that there instead. No, that's going to go wrong. Okay, so instead then, that one there, that one there, hmm, it's all about sequence, it's all about sequence, see that's going to emanate out there and cancel that one, and even if we double forward, it's no energy. Engine needs to go there. So that can go there. That can go there. Which is then going to stop what I was trying to do in the first place. So that one. That one. No. That one. There we go. Slightly more difficult. Yeah. Because it's uh, broadcasting the... Broadcasting? Emanating? Whichever term you prefer, really. All interchangeable. Uh, it's getting the uh, liquid like sent diagonally out and along. This is where we have double forward, left, right, diagonal, double forward, uh, diagonal. Okay. Well, none of them are really useful for us. That makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. That doesn't make sense. No. Um, so we can get some of them, but not all. That seems like the obvious choice, which is why it may be wrong. <laughs> Going diagonal with that. Don't know. There's our energy. Then that one goes... No. Oh, yes. That one there. And then that one there. And I've got one of the bits on the tower, but not the other one. Yeah, 22. So we're coming into... I'm getting towards Uncharted Territory. I think I've done up to 24. 24. So. More spikes. So that's important. The obvious choice seems like going left and right with that. So we'll try that. But the spikes are in the way. But they shouldn't be now. And, ah, can't place that. So instead, that one there, that 
one there. That one there. That one there. And then diagonal. Oh, sorry, left, right. 23. This one, we have two liquid, one energy. Easy one, I think. Damn it. And then this one goes there. Yeah. So it's it's with the spikes, with the order, the draw order, as well as the uh, the placement. All of those uh, come into play. So level twenty-four. Not actually done this. This is un this now is uncharted territory. So where do I want to go with this? Well. Seems like there might be one for the strawberry. Um, but how would we get that? We wouldn't. Be there, 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 and there. And I believe that's a strawberry gathered thing as well, maybe? Maybe? Yeah, 25. <sighs> Definitely uncharted now. Hang on, it's tea. Eh, uh, no strawberry. Don't know how you get it then. Maybe you have to provide both resources. Or just click on it loads of times. Yeah, don't know. Anyway, we'll go for a... Ooh, um... Double forward will cancel out that. But it's not a big problem. But it's all about sequence now. Well, it's always about sequence all the time. Um, that side, and then the double forward. Yeah, there you go. No, hang on. Because that requires... Ah, yeah, that requires... That requires a different resource. Um, I don't think we can go... We could go... Oh, what's that? Some sort of head statue. <laughs> With glowing blue eyes, brilliant. That's just what you want to see in the uh, in this sort of uh, landscape. Well, energy to there, energy to there, um, energy to there, and then no diagonal and double forward. Nope, that wouldn't be a solution. In fact, it's worse than the previous one. Something to do with that. I'm thinking. See, if we start there, it's not going to work out. So it has to be that. I say it has to be. <laughs> That's uh, not the case at all. But there. And there. And then there. Okay. Still not too bad. Yeah, 26. And... We'll just power on this one. With the same sort of, same sort of uh, technology. So diagonals, left, right, and then double forward. Anyway, I think we will leave it there for now. That has been just a little bit of the game. I think it's uh, a little over a quarter of the levels. And obviously these are the very early ones where it's still very um, tutorially and introducing the different uh, the towers and mechanics and also uh, still holding your hand just a little bit. I will continue playing to see how far I can get. But like most puzzle games, there will be a point, I imagine, where the frustration level goes beyond the entertainment level. But I really couldn't say. I do very much appreciate the sort of simplicity of it the fact that it's you've got five towers you just place them on the on the grid uh, you can redo it and it is those three things about the uh, draw order the um the different types of environmental and tile blocking things you get and I know there's more as you progress on in different uh, latter levels as well and also the fact that you can undo it is uh, something yeah I very much appreciate the fact that you can just click undo at any point and um, just sort of uh, go back to start I do quite like that either way if you like this thing then by all means check it out the links are in the description as always hope you have enjoyed the video thanks very much for watching take care and generic partings